What's up, Tube Tube? Welcome back to Lego Widow's Chop Shop. Second best job blaster channel on the Tube Tubes. Now, tonight, uh, just a little quick one that I just came across. Um, I... I was doing some motor upgrades, and, and you've probably found this yourself. Um, these uh, motors, you can get the uh, 460 longs with the little uh, anodized red aluminium... Uh, shaft protector I guess that is uh, you've probably seen them before they're pretty common and I've used them before as well uh, it's just something I've noticed just tonight uh, this is a stock motor with the stock whatever that sleeve is called I'm gonna call it a sleeve and you can see here it fits fairly nicely in that gearbox in fact if I was to take that motor out and just Put the sleeve in the bottom there. You see, it fits quite nicely in there. There's no uh, wiggle room or anything in there. It's a, it's a nice tight fit. And if I was to grab my verniers and measure this, it's looking at around 10.3, maybe 10.4, let's say 10.4, just under 10.4 millimeters in diameter the hole in the bottom of the gen 9 gearbox is about 10.6 millimeters so you know you got a fraction of a millimeter in there to fit that in now these aluminium ones that come on the upgraded motors you've probably seen them i've used them uh a couple of times before in the past but uh i measured this one it's a good millimeter smaller in diameter um than the standard one that i just threw across the room so um when i put this new motor in it was really wobbling around in the gearbox it wasn't it wasn't like sitting home it was like you know it's really loose in there and I might as well have not actually had this on there at all um, so what I've actually done here you might be able to see now that's closer up I've actually just got a barrel I've got a standard you know one of those standard nylon barrels so I've got the nylon barrel heated it up a bit um, fit it over the top of this aluminium part and then just sort of filed it down to about 10.5 uh, just so that it's a nice fit in that gearbox again there's no there's no play there, it fits in there nice and it doesn't wobble around. Um, I guess it probably doesn't matter too much if, if the handle, the pistol grip that you're using is nice and tight that this slides into. The particular one that I'm using on this blaster is is a really annoying one and if, if I didn't like the look of it so much, I probably would recommend not using it ever. But um, it's quite loose in the handle so this motor can actually move around in it and uh, with the small aluminium like this, I don't know if you can see, I have heat fitted this on so it's not coming off so I can take the measurement. But you can see there's a good, there is a good millimetre um, of extra diameter there that I've added to make this fit. So just something that I wanted to share with you guys if you are adding the aftermarket motors into the J9 or J10 whatever with this same type of gearbox. I don't know if that fits in V2 gearboxes better or um, you know what the story is but you will notice they have printed on this motor J9. So it's not like they didn't know what you were going to use it for. So... Um, yeah, it, it's the standard aluminium uh, sleeve is no good. You need to add 
at least a millimeter in diameter to that to, to even bring it up into par with the standard one. I did consider using the standard one in there, but uh, this is a really nice machined um, and anodized aluminium piece with a little ball bearing in the end of it there, which is all very nice. And I, I thought it a shame to not use that given that the standard one is uh, literally just a piece of plastic that doesn't have any bushing or bearing on it. So yeah, just a heads up to you guys. Keep that in mind. If you are building the J9 gearbox and changing the motor and you do happen to get one of these things, just uh, just a heads up so that you, you know you have to shim that up a bit or do something, otherwise it potentially can cause uh, pinion wearing issues in the future for you. That's all for me for now. Um, don't forget, contact me via email or face page if you want to buy a patch. Um, and you can always donate to my channel via the buy me a coffee link down there. And subscribe if you haven't already because um getting getting close to, I think it was eight and a half thousand subscribers last time I looked. So that's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Anyway, catch us later. Peace.